I think it's hard to coach a captain, like in terms of, you know, it's, there's no blueprint. Like he has to be his own person, he has to do his own thing. And, and there's so many variables and, and different things that come into being a great leader. You know, he just kind of has to learn on the job. And, um, you know, we've certainly had some good ones over the years for him to learn from. Yeah, I've, I've always felt that I've had good leadership qualities and the, the ability to, to lead a team, you know, to have success. Uh, I, I have that belief in myself and I'm happy that my teammates do as well. I think first, the first thing is just, is just character, high character. It's that kid that doesn't need that pat on the back. He's always going to do the right thing. So certainly we're really pleased with Wyatt. Uh, he, is, he is A plus character, really high character person, great work ethic. Um, he's been great so far. I had the opportunity to thank my teammates um, for having that trust and having that belief in me. And I, mean, I kind of made it clear to them that you know, our goal is to make it to the Frozen Four. And, um, that's, I'm going to do everything we can to, uh, to, to get us there. If you ask all 28 of us, it's all of our goals. You know, that's the number one thing that we got on our plate. And uh, I think guys realize that. And so, you know, they take every day as a preparation to get there. So it, it would mean the world. And it would, I know it would mean the world to our alumni. And I want to do it for a lot of people. But I also want to do it for ourselves and for our team. December 26th against AIC, you scored in the first, assist in the second, and then you go down pretty early into the third. What do you remember, the first thoughts you had after taking that big hit and, and going down? Yeah, I mean, it was just scary. Um, I, I had never kind of experienced something like that. Uh, I, I just remember taking the puck off the wall and uh, cutting to the middle, and next thing you know, I was on the ice, but um, I kind of got you know, settled down I, I reduced some of my anxiety and I accepted the, the injury and I had to do everything I could to get myself back. I, I never really looked at it as a way of, or as a, a thought of, you know, woe is me. It's, it's more, okay, this happened, how am I gonna get back? His freshman year, we almost had to get him to tone it down a little bit on the, on the work ethic. Like he was, you know, he'd, he'd try to practice four or five hours a day and we'd have a game the next day. It's like, why, you can't, you can't do that, you know? But what, what an awesome problem to have. We, we work too hard. It was just a constant battle. It was long days. Um, you'd be in here for, you know, from 8 a.m. till 3 p.m. And it seemed like, uh, like Groundhog Day. You just woke up and just were at it again. I had unbelievable support um, from teammates, family, friends. Um, they all kind of kept me, kept me going. I just think the same thing that always sticks up about Wyatt, like he's, he's so dedicated and committed and he's going to do whatever it takes to, to be the best player he can. And in the end, it's just about, you know, I always say to our guys, like play to our identity and, and we'll get rewarded.